Buenos dias amigos, soy un look de Owens' Go. It's Sunday morning in beautiful Guadalajara city, Mexico's second city. And we're standing here in the plaza. We've got the cathedral of Guadalajara behind us. And it's Sunday morning, which means all of the roads around here are closed. And the people of Guadalajara are on their bicycles, cycling around, enjoying the nice warm weather. And uh, I guess it's time for us to go and find something to eat. You can join in the fun with the cycling by renting a bicycle from My Bikey. It's a very easy to use, credit card operated uh, bicycle rental station and they're dotted all over the city. The speciality here in Guadalajara is the drowned sandwich, torta ahogada. It's a pork sandwich drenched in salsa and served with some onion and uh, of course some lime, fingers, spoons, I'm not sure how this is done. Yeah, lean forward. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Delicious, that's a pork sandwich of your dreams. <laughs> a little bit of chewy crust, a little bit of soft drenched inner bread and plenty of juicy pork and onions. Lovely. So just outside of Guadalajara is the little hamlet of Tlaquepaque. It used to be a separate town but it's kind of been absorbed by Guadalajara. It's a beautiful place to walk around. There's plenty of uh, arts and craft stores, great places to eat, lots of ice cream shops. Let's take a walk around and see what we can find. I'm tasting my first birria taco, which is goat. It looks amazing. Mm. Mm. That meat is super tender. And the taco has been kind of shallow fried, so it's really crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. Oh, that's a delight. Mm. Mm. <laughs> So that taco did not quench my hunger for goat. So we have come to this amazing Birria Carillo. They're just hacking goats into pieces left and right. Uh, we had a very confusing discussion with the waitress, which I think was her asking which parts of the goat we wanted. So I managed to say no tripas because I don't really like the tripe. So we've got what looks like a Castillo rib and probably just some, some breast, I guess. Such an underrated meat goat. It's really tasty. The sauce is rich, spicy, really hearty, uh, delicious. So we're off to a good start here in Guadalajara at Tlaquepaque. taco stand in Guadalajara and I've got an amazing looking plate of food here. We've got chorizo, we've got beef, we've got rib, we've got onion, saboya, grilled peppers, all kinds of pickles, beans, uh, obviously lime over everything, radishes, it all looks so good. I'm just gonna dive in <laughs> with difficulty. Okay, I'm going in for, uh, looks like the beef. Mm. Is it taco heaven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the legs are chilly. <laughs> A 
another day, another market. We're in Guadalajara and we've come to the Mercado Santere to find some breakfast after going for a run. Had a lovely little run in the uh, Columnas Garden. It's a good spot to check out. They've got some Japanese gardens, they've got plenty of paths where you can walk around. But for now, we're coming here to find something tasty to eat. All right, we've gotten some breakfast Mexican style. Got some delicious, uh, freshly crushed sugarcane juice with lime in it. Oh, sweet and refreshing. And then I've got this beautiful chili. This is a whole uh, fried chili. It's stuffed with queso cheese. It's in a tomato sauce. It's like deep fried and breaded. Oh. That's very nice, not spicy chili, more like a big roasted green pepper, a little bit of cheese, and then a hearty tomato sauce. It's delicious. So I'm going to start with the horchata. Oh. Mm. That is really nice. Nice. It's like a sweet cinnamon milk drink. Delicious. I don't know if it's made of rice as it's supposed to be traditionally, but. And then we've got some, basically like a potato omelette with beans. Very tasty. Oh, it says go to Guadalajara. <laughs> One of the specialties here is carne in saljujo, which is uh, meat in its own juice, basically. It's uh, beef chopped into small pieces and served in a delicious broth, often with bits of onion on top and bacon and uh, beans on the side, guacamole perhaps. Anyway, we were looking for the best spot to experience this dish and there's a restaurant near where we're staying called Carne in Salvojo. So you know it's uh, the real deal and the owner Caesar is very uh, passionate about what he's doing so we're excited to try his food. So this has arrived literally boiling. It smells beautiful. It's got beans in it. It's got the, the carne. Let me get a little piece of bacon with this bite. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Oh man. Oh, it's so meaty and juicy. There's so much depth in that flavor. It's just uh, like meat all the way down to the bottom. Um, tender meat, crispy bacon, the interplay of the added spices and herbs. That's, uh, uh, and the beans add a nice little bit of uh, a carbohydrate. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's fantastic. Might have to order the large next time. This is the medium. <laughs> <laughs> One of the big appeals of coming to Guadalajara is its youthful, vibey atmosphere. So apparently you can't say you've been to Guadalajara unless you've been to Chapu, which is Chapultepec Street which is the street that we're staying in and there must be a hundred bars along the street and every one of them is trying harder than the last to get people in whether it's two for one beers, cocktails for free for ladies all kinds of attempts to draw people in because there's so much going on great here tunes. <laughs> great tunes so it's an all night party here stay maybe two streets back <laughs> Hola amigos, today we're in Tequila, Pueblo Magico, just an hour or two out of Guadalajara. We've got the Tequila Plus bus to get here and now we're in town, we're going to take a walk around, see what there is to see and find ourselves some tequila to taste. This guy apparently likes his tequila in a chalice and served with crackers. Nice. Just behind the Catholic Church is a small market, which is where we're going to try and find something to eat. I'm trying my first huarache, which is basically a oblong piece of uh, dough, masa, fried and then topped. It looks like in this case with uh, ground beef or like beef strips and cheese. 
Oh, it's like a little mini pizza. Mm -hmm. Mexican style. -y. Some refried beans underneath there, some onions. Let's try this part without the salsa. <laughs> That's good, it's like a Mexican pizza. I like it. <laughs> so we're warming up. We're going to drink tequila. We're eating some tequila ice cream. It's a good, but it's a traditionally made one, so it's quite a, got big lumps of crystals in it. <laughs> but it's tasty. How much tequila is in there? I don't think much. <laughs> Mostly cream. <laughs> Okay, what are we drinking? We are drinking Coke and tequila. Nice. I How somehow thought I was ordering a fruity cocktail. <laughs> I don't know, I somehow got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Lots of salt and lots of lime. Nice. Alright, I've opted for this beer made from agave. It's a cerveza de agave artisanal. Mm. It's quite a sweet, refreshing drink. It doesn't really taste of beer at all. It's not fizzy. <laughs> uh, I think calling it beer is misleading. It's four and a half percent alcohol, which is probably as close to beer as it gets. But uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Wouldn't buy it again, but it's <laughs> drinkable. Blanco tequila, it has no age, it's like the one we have, okay? Then if you wait for two months, we call it reposado. One year, añejo tequila or age. Three years and over, we got the extra añejo or ex ultra age, okay? We finished the tequila tour. At Jose Cuervo, great tour. I'll show you the whole of the tequila factory. It's very interesting and informative. And now we've come to La Capilla, the chapel, which is a small bar here in tequila that has often been rated amongst the best bars in the world. And it is so called the chapel because you arrive standing but you leave walking, you leave on your knees. Um, it's a real dive bar. And the signature drink is the, what was this called again? Batanga. The Batanga, which is about this much tequila, this much ice, and this much coke. And a bit of lime. Mm, and a bit of lime, that's all. Mm. Oh, and it tastes real good. When in tequila, come to La Capilla. Hola amigos, today we are in Tabasco. Hola amigos, today we're in Tequila, a Puebla Magico just outside of Guadalajara. <clears throat> when in Tabasco. When in Jalisco. 